The U.S. Conference of Mayors gets underway in Providence, and there's been controversy surrounding this meeting. High-profile officials, including Vice President Joe Biden, have backed out because the Firefighters Union plans to picket the conference, and now the tide may be turning against the union. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live in Providence with the developing news. Karen, as Providence's firefighters are gearing up to picket the U.S. Conference of Mayors here at the Rhode Island Convention Center, criticism is growing that their protest is badly damaging Rhode Island's reputation. This won't be just any union protest. Providence firefighters put together 250 pickets with five separate messages as they get ready to slam Providence Mayor David Cicilline outside the U.S. Conference of Mayors at the Rhode Island Convention Center starting tomorrow. They're upset that they've been unable to agree with the mayor on a new labor contract. We are not doing this just to look good amongst five places throughout the country. We're not doing it to look good amongst other people that might support us in the city. This is a... But can you see, never mind look good, can you see how this looks bad for you guys? No, not at all. Not at all. I, I think it's going to show that we can deliver our message. But critics in the business community believe the protest shows the firefighters are failing to see the huge harm in federal officials, including Vice President Joe Biden, honoring union picket lines and staying home. People need to realize the National Conference of Mayors is like a cow milking contest. The mayors come and they're all ready to milk the federal government for everything they can get, and the government is here ready to be milked. The problem is, because of the union action, there's no cows at our milking contest, which means the mayors don't want to even come because there's no money that they're going to get from the administration because the administration isn't here. Critics also fear lingering damage to Rhode Island's reputation as a dysfunctional state with high unemployment, high taxes, and now a missed opportunity to host the Vice President of the United States. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.